Yep. I'm calling the meeting to order at 6.08. Great. Roll call. Sage Alexander. Here. Pamela Bachelor is hopefully coming. Iris Hannon. Here. Susan Horowitz. Here. Susan Jaggers. Ah, here. here. Lacey. <laughs> Jennifer Miller. Here. Nettie Penman. <laughs> here. Cindy Tiger. Scott Tillian. Here. Okay, and we are excused. Do I need to read the excused? Sure, just for record. Uh, Teresa Baxter, Michelle Jones, Danielle Kennedy, Melanie Nesky, Jenny Rabellino. That's correct. And Laura Mann. That's correct. All right. Staff, Angela. I'm, I'm seeing here. Susie. Susie will not be joining us this evening. Okay. I don't know. She I she do. I mean, yeah, it's nice level. It is. Yeah. Public invited to be heard. <laughs> I see no one. <laughs> Corrections to the August fifteenth minutes. Anybody? We're waiting on you, Cindy. I read them before <laughs> they were sent to you, so. And I didn't find any. <laughs> So, I need a motion to approve the minutes. I move that we approve the minutes. Eve. Second. I'll second. Iris. Yeah. All in favor, aye. Aye. One, two, three, aye. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. <laughs> Nay. Zero. Abstention, zero, because we have nothing. Yay. Hooray. Additions, corrections to the September 19th agenda. I'm sorry. So I would like to add item 10. See, hello, Pamela. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> what a, what a trip. I know. We <laughs> know you're in Longmont when you can play the trip. Uh, item 10C should be Hotel Longmont Parking Garage. Mm. Uh, can I, can I, I have that one? fills me with fear. <laughs> No, it's okay. I just want to make you coffee. Oh, thanks, Eve. <laughs> thanks, Eve. <laughs> I should just keep note of who likes my news. Yeah, Ted C. That's it. That's um, the only thing I have to add. That's the hotel. Council mm -hmm. comments. Susie is not here today. Correct. Sunset soiree. Yay! Yay, oh. sunset soiree. Oh. Who wants to start? It was so much fun. I never thought, you know, voting to give money would be exciting. <laughs> it was really interesting. So uh, it was, it was good. You know, I had a really, it was beautiful night, and the food was good, and the appetizers was good. Everything was good. So the band was good. Well, yeah, included in the price of your ticket. Oh, yeah. Nothing in this did, world is did free. Did you go to that? I worked. I was I was checking. Oh, okay. I was wondering. Yes, if you it was an all hands on deck oh, situation. Okay. There was a lot of check in. Yes. So, how many people did they? Uh, I think they sold out three hundred. And at last count, when they were doing the um, paddle raiser, uh, they raised two hundred twenty six thousand wow. dollars. Yes, it was really exciting. It was, and that included oh, nice. the match by the Stewart Family Foundation. Wow. I'm trying to find some pictures. Yes. It was really fun. Don't it's so much fun. Yeah, it was really it was a very nice time. And um, good music? Yeah. That was the music. It was good. It, it was a good jazz singer, um, good band. Way bigger than the stage. Had a couple of people in the front. I mean, it was a it was a, a big, big band. band. <laughs> they weren't kidding. I heard it was loud. Like once you loud. were, you couldn't talk anymore because oh. they were kind of fine tuning the sound. I mean, it was okay it was if you were sitting far away from fairly far away yeah. from the stage, but the closer you were, that it was a little loud. Hard yeah. to talk to people. Anymore. You're gonna ask me who it was. I have no who catered it. Uh, spice of spice life, life and it was I thought heard it was excellent with the exception of the Vegetarian option was there was 
It was about this a little big. more <laughs> to be <laughs> little bit desired. It was a midget squash. Yeah, it just apparently wasn't that great. But the the date for next year is already done. So the sixth of September is your date. And I thought the program was excellent. So it was that folks went out, uh, first you checked in, then you went out and got um, a signature cocktail from Dryland Distillery and appetizers, and then mingled around. And staff created um, vitrines that demonstrated our program. So ours was on one side, Lara and I put pins into every single piece of public art and where they're located and then a different color for all of the shock art. And then on, then on the other side, I borrowed a maquette from Joe Norman um, of one of his pieces in the round. And Lara made like a fake tiny shock art box. And then we made a fake tiny history under wraps kind of box. Yeah. Mm. And then had little descriptions of each of them. And I'm sure that there is a picture here somewhere and um, I will find it. But um, all in all, I thought that it went really well and then they went into the program, people finally sat down, were starting to serve their meal, and then Eric got up, there was a ribbon cutting for the Stewart, um, not auditorium, the courtyard, and then there was a brief video that was kind of looking a uh, big picture at the museum's mission and what we intend to do, and then they went straight into the fundraising portion, which I think was like... 10 15 minutes she maybe? was really good she was like she she was like really good it's like okay what what do i have fifty thousand dollars <laughs> i mean even i just went yeah it was so. it was pretty great and yeah. she was yeah. really good I, I, we were out of town so we couldn't attend uh -huh. and i talked to a friend who attended and that's she called out that one yeah. in particular and yeah, said how she was, great she was. She yeah. was really fantastic. Number two! Was that just somebody, four, just a random it person was, that they found? No, it was part of the development plan for oh, the fundraiser. So she yeah, she's not staff. Oh. Okay. Um, but we sat with her for quite a long time leading up to the event, telling her about what we're doing, telling her about the expansion plans and why we're doing what we're doing. And so she was pretty up, yeah, yeah she pretty yeah. much knew what she was trying to what she was pitching and why she was pitching what she was pitching so it was, so the 226 was did is that what i said mm -hmm. yeah 226 was that is that was that a goal i mean did they i think they made their goal i don't want to speak on behalf of yeah. megan mm -hmm. she was very she was happy and okay. um and that's then good. of course the stewart matches that's fantastic so um yeah enough that we're going to do it Fill it again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think it's the new it's grand. the new thing. Yeah. So uh yeah, let's yeah. get a table for ten next year and yeah. get ten of us to, to yeah. go. I would go. We had yeah. fun. We had fun. It was Our, really it fun. was good. Hundred dollars pop and we'll we'll have for it. Well I by know, the time you was the Yeah. The the know. drinks there were a lot of there was a lot of people having lots of different <laughs> fun drinks. <laughs> And I was like, well, I guess by the time that you get a three-course meal and some wine, I mean... And a band. And a band. band. And, all right, I mean, yeah. I get it. Yeah. But, yeah, it's certainly oh. not for everyone, of course, and all of the things. Um, I, without knowing exactly... Oh, there we go. Yeah, the sunset showed up, which that was nice, because uh, the sunset yeah, soiree yeah. would have been a little bit <laughs> of the sunset. So, it looked... Yeah, it looked pretty good. It did its mm -hmm. job. And those are just my yeah. Yeah. silly ones. But anyway, but so thank you very much for your support. Of course, it all comes back to the work that you do. I mean, it, as volunteers, we can't we can't do what we we do without volunteers and hey, commitment. If I, so if I hadn't yeah. got my reverse mortgage that month, I wouldn't have been there. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And I want to thank you for the beautiful baskets. Oh, the yes. dahlias yeah. are like insane. Yes. And so I know Arrowhead and Calvin They're fantastic. And, yeah. And they're like, oh, my God, I don't want them to ever die. I, know, I just right? want yeah. them no, to yeah, stay. No, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm going to double eggplant parmesan. There you go. I, I so made eggplant. I'm actually going to cook. Tonight. I was inspired. Fantastic. <laughs> well, good. Good, good, good. And our... Um, other commissioners, uh, Stephanie Burris, said to tell you hi. She sent a very, very nice note to us 
Um, Laurel, I have not, I didn't see her. And then Teresa picked hers up. There was one other person who came and picked theirs up and said to send, send their best to you. But it, Stephanie, I think, was the one that, mm -hmm. you know, that was really, yeah. Yeah. it was really kind of her to, um, to stop in. And I know that she's, there probably was a lot making it here. So that right. was really good. But Sunset Soiree, September 6th, 2025, be there, be square. <laughs> we'll figure out the table thing. Okay. Okay. Moving on, number eight, Longmont Arts Week Review. All right. So thank you, Susan, for coming and doing the painting at our, our walk, formally, Iris deserves a big gold star for putting up with a lot of excited children. Yes. Yeah. 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 Like 40 little paint, little artists oh. painting. Yeah. They and were running. really jazzed up. And by the end, they were like pouring the paint. We're like, no. Oh, I know. Oh, no. And they're like, and they it. it. And it was like, oh, oh no. Oh, don't know. So it's, it was fun, though. It would, has been fun. So yeah. we started off our arts week with the paint by number. Um, let's see. I know I should, I can't talk oh, yeah, and do things at the same time. Um, we started off at Countryside with the manufactured home community that is just to the south of us. They have a fantastic uh, community room. Huh? And so that's where they invited all the kids from the neighborhood, but then they also invited um, kids from Casa Esperanza, well, families oh, really. Yeah. And so, um, they, I don't know, day one, which was Monday of last week, I don't know how many the kids were. And it, it was Susie and me, and she said that I'm gonna have my teachers there to help facilitate. And they were definitely there to socialize with children, but as for helping kids with paint brushes and paint and all of those pieces, uh, it didn't it didn't go as choreographed <laughs> <laughs> so I, was like, I don't know if that's a nice way okay it was just a hot mess chaos. it <laughs> was chaos this is not the place um anyway so then so then date so we revamped it part of the problem was that the blobs were too small and little kids got too excited and they were just painting like this <laughs> and so then we took the canvas back tried to re-outline, that didn't work. So then we came up with a new paint by number that was larger blobs. And I counted about 40 kids. So we had two canvases at about 15 to 20 blobs per canvas. So every kid got one blob and they had to take turns because we had aprons so that it was their turn when they were wearing the apron and then we rotated them that way and then had color sheets for when they weren't painting and then of course the snacks which that's why they were there was yeah. the snacks. <laughs> yeah. and it worked out really well it went and really well so I mean, it, as well as it could go with 40 kids yeah it's yeah. true yeah. so the two canvases, those the two kid canvases are exactly the same. One of them I think will stay at Countryside if you are all agreeable to letting them have that canvas. Uh, and then the other one I do think we should consider asking the city clerk's office and council if they are agreeable for us putting them outside council chambers mm -hmm. with some interpretation, with some images of this outreach event, an estimate of how many people quantify what it is we're doing, why we're doing it and not to be permanent art, public art, but just for display for a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. So then next year we can replicate this and just keep doing. It was a good project, lightweight. Yeah. The materials, we finally were able to figure out how to manage that. Um, so yeah, it was, it was good, it was good. And it would be fun to take it mm -hmm. different places. Yeah. yeah. People were excited when um, when you tell them, you know, that it would get displayed, and yeah. they, almost yeah. everybody wanted to know where it was going to be. Yeah, everybody asked, where is it going to be? You know, it's yeah. interesting because so this might be just too much to add, but I was talking to one of the people who participated. Yeah. And she said she had done it many years ago in um, Boulder. Oh yeah. And then they got people's addresses. And then after it was done, they sent them a postcard with oh. a picture of it. Oh, that's cool. And where it could be seen. Oh. I thought that was a cool I thought that was a good idea. Yeah. So they get yeah. some feedback. Yeah. 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 That is completely That's what it's supposed to look like? That is it. 
That's, oh, really? That's the on the right is the wow. mock up and printed out from the computer, and the left is done. No, you can way. see the one good. mistake, but I'm not. Whatever. Well, wait a minute. Where, where is this from? In my office. No, but I mean, this isn't the one we did. That is the one that was done at Art Walk that Susan did. Okay. That's what it was supposed to look like. Right. The kids. <laughs> <laughs> that looks fantastic. Yeah. Did you take any pictures of the one that the kids did? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's not willing to share. Um, it was I pretty. Sure. Better pictures are, of course, the kids working on it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. No, I. It, depending on how we are on time, we can all walk back to my office, and I can show. I'll show Thank you. Them. Yeah. It, <laughs> it was a little rough. It was a little rough, and so then after we did the kid kid stuff, um, it was Wednesday, so we we're getting ready for Art Week. Had revamped it, got everything figured out, packed the van. And then Susie called and said she would like to come and get one of the panels that was done that was done poorly and work on it. And then she ended up coming to Art Walk to be in our mm -hmm. booth with us to paint with us. And um, that was a little unexpected. So Susan was awesome and we just yeah, started the project for the community and she just jumped right in while Elizabeth, Elizabeth and I ran back to the van, got an easel. She took my wagon, brought all her paint. We kept the paint separate, so we knew we weren't mixing our methodologies. And she painted, and it was it was great. And and the, but the kids had fun, and the staff did a great job. So um, all's well that ends well. But yeah, we can't have an outreach event if we don't have a little bit of a calamity. Not just not just chaos, but also calamity. We didn't spill any paint. Um, wow. These little what? valves. Yeah, yeah. I know. These little Valspar guys are like six bucks at Lowe's. They can paint any Sherman Williams color. So we figured out how to take our colors from Illustrator and CMYK, then get our Sherman Williams color, and then get these Valspar little buddies. But these little kids, we just gave them the lids. And so then they were like kind of working out of the lids. Hello. Yeah. We were just talking about our project. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. Good. You can step right in when we were talking about um while well, i look for pictures but so we learned then if we give the kids kind of have somebody managing the little bits of paint so we have people with long arms working in the middle and little kids kind of working more on the outside um and then it yeah worked great so we didn't have any spilled paint they're going to do it again this saturday um so we have two more fresh uh the fresh uh canvases that have nothing in and then we have the second one that they worked on on art walk that they got really close to finishing yeah um we've got that one so at the end of the day let's see final art walk colorways let's see all the colorways let's see yeah so these are like all the different no oh, that'll look cool uh -huh. so this is one of the ones that the little kiddos were working on yeah and then that these are the four that the mm -hmm. community through art walk and rhythm are going to be Very doing nice. so um yeah susie while i look for pictures for from our event do you want to talk about sure. countryside and how awesome it was? yeah it was no, unexpectedly I'm gonna do it awesome my, um, oh thank you sorry i had a staff pee. no you're fine it could have been an email, by the way. That <laughs> <laughs> always happens, right? So, anyway, um, it was intentional why we chose Countryside Village. Um, that community, um, our kiddo, kiddos from Indian Peaks, so they, they go there. Um, and that's where I teach. And there has been a lot of um, just some struggles in the past with um, parenting as well as criminal activity and um, just kind of delinquent behavior. And so we're really working with children's youth and family and public safety to nip that in the bud. School district's been really supportive as well. Um, but um, there has been a change in management at that place, at that um, community. And the woman who's taking over is very engaged and she really wants to set positive um, activities for the families and kids and so she's been trying for quite some time to get you know game night or movie night and nobody comes 
we had a really good turnout. It was yeah. crazy. It was crazy. So she was so happy. I know she jumped on it in an opportunity to talk to parents and have them come out for their game nights and other future events. So it opened the door for me to connect her with El Comité, Intercambio, other um, supporting nonprofits for that, that that would really help the group. So why do you think, Susie, this particular event drew a I nice think, crowd? so we had a lot of Indian Peaks teachers there as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. and so they, they saw their teachers there. Okay. And then I think, okay. you know, capitalizing on that piece, yeah. Principal what, came. The pr yes. Uh, he like walked through the door and the kids yeah. went nuts. <laughs> yes. So that's you know. So that I think those made huge um, nice. impacts in breaking down those barriers. Yeah. And then art. You know, it's just right. like, let's connect right. through art. Yeah. That's you know. There's no who's doing it right, who's doing it wrong. Right. You know, it was just coming together and using art as that vehicle to to bring in community. So it was. It was lovely. It and was the kids really still, good. yeah, they they were all excited. And they went back to school the next day and were sharing about. They still talk about so it. Right. So it was it was it was good. It was. I uh, to be fair, um, I they kept coming in and I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, I know. I was, like, I was okay. not. I was not excited. I'm like, it was maybe great. Eight. I was like, <laughs> I didn't know. I was like, it does it? Like we're great. Yeah. What's this be great? Know, wait, it was like 25, 30 kids. I would say like maybe 40. Okay. Yeah, day yeah. one I think yeah. was 40. I was ca and I didn't even bring my clicker. I was like, I can count in my head. I'm gonna get photo forms. Or... No. It was, but they no. they did. They had such a good time. But it yes. was it yeah. was. But then second day we kind of reconfigured the how. Things. Yes. And yeah. they still had such a good time. good time, and then we have canvases then that can yes. stay at Countryside. We, we were just talking before you got in here about uh -huh. absolutely thinking that some, you know, the kid one, and then maybe the one that they're, you're working on with the other kids oh, yeah, yeah. to put back up there. So mm -hmm. anyway, so yeah, yeah, really cool. Oh yeah, and then the my pants ripped. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to load them? Oh, we're getting really I into the work. So it's <laughs> outreach. It's yeah, yes, I, yeah. had, um, I had a little girl who was about, she, she couldn't have been more than pre-K, so probably about four, and I asked her if she was an artist, and she said, yes, and she says, my teacher says I'm the most prolific artist in the class. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Even her mom, we all were like, what? what? <laughs> Even her mom was like, okay, I'm the most prolific artist. So yeah, these this is really it was really fantastic. Yeah. And thank you for capturing these photos because yeah. there was that too. So that was yeah. before we put it down to four at, at a time. Oh yeah. 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 This was yeah. before this was yeah. still yeah. when it was controlled yeah. controlled chaos. 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 Yeah. Um but uh they're you know well, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, you can slowly. see it coming together. You can see it. Yeah. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, but there were and there were a lot of parents I think that gave yes. feedback to Countryside yes. that it was a that it was really They're good really for these kids. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So um, yeah, so fantastic. Okay. So this weekend, um, depending on how you're feeling, if you want to get on out there, Rhythm on the River is two to ten. Um, we have Sage signed up, Eve is signed up, Susan is signed up. It's really going to be the exact same. Um, second verse, same as the first kind of situation. There'll be staff there. Uh, we are in booths eight and nine. Um, yeah, it's going to be a good time. As I understand, there's going to be a lot of paid opportunities, like a mechanical bowl and roller skating, but then this will be one of the ways that people can engage without having to spend money. So I would imagine that y'all are going to be busy. Where are they? <laughs> yep, wear your painty clothes. Yeah, definitely. Wear the painty clothes. And I highly suggest telling them to outline first and then fill in. And we took away all of the square brushes. Yeah. We took away all of the big brushes because mm -hmm. kiddos paint like they write, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And so it took Laura to say that, a painter. I was like, well, I thought square, but they're trying to paint. Well, they don't paint, they, they draw, right? Mm -hmm. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. All good things. And the outlining thing, about half the time they do it. And yeah. yeah. The other times they just, you know, yeah. went, went for it. it. Yeah. Went for it. Mm -hmm. So very good. So thank yeah. you, thank you. All right. 
Do you have a, a sign up somewhere online? For a rhythm? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I can resend it, or you could just show up. I think we're at show up time. Okay. Is <laughs> <laughs> it show up? I can't remember show if up. I signed up or not. You didn't, but it's okay. a. It was oh because I did it a little differently. I did a form. Okay. Um, the city is kind of moving us toward all Microsoft everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm not using those awesome sign up geniuses. Right. Oh, geniuses. Oh, they're so yeah, easy. That are so yeah. Easy. Yeah. <laughs> right? We might have to. We'll try the forms, and then when the forms aren't effective, then we'll. Uh, but yes, just show up. So, yes. Yeah. Okay. So they are setting up at, at noon. Um, that's the tent striking and all of that business, but painting really is going to go from uh, two, 2 to 8. 2 to 8. 2 to sunset. And, and, um, and what number? Of uh, booth, booth 8 and 9. Is it Saturday and Sunday? Or just Saturday. Saturday. Did Rhythm used to be two days? Oh. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was a, long a long time. Rhythm, yeah. on, the, rhythm yeah. on the river. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was like, it might just like an yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. lot of work, yeah. and yeah. The, and the yeah. show doesn't even like start until eight. Yeah. And so like the show goes till eight, eight to ten. Yeah. Uh, and the same person who organizes rhythm is also responsible for a Fourth of July and Longmont Lights Parade. Mm. She's a machine. And so get them, give it to give the job to a busy person. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yes. Um, I will not be there, but mm -hmm. Laura will be there, and uh, Eric will be there in the first shift. So mm -hmm. come by and say hi, or Pete, or help facilitate Pete. Mm -hmm. I'll try. I'll okay. Try. Yeah. And as I understand, you might want to bring a poncho for the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Oh right, the weather sure. really changes. Outside. But we have two t we have two tents, so I okay. think everything should be fine. It's we'll underneath. Be underneath. We just okay. won't be out in the like we were at Art Walk. We kind of took up some space. space. That's the other thing we learned. We need two spots. Yeah. Just yeah. having yeah. one yeah. tent yeah. is not yeah. enough. Yeah. So we are going to have to have two spots yeah. for Art Walk yeah. next year. Okay. And that was just by chance you had it those was because that room. place did not. Yeah. Luck. 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 Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. Number nine, maintenance. Our maintenance, how's maintenance going for everyone? We're going to talk about 101 faces, but other than that, everybody feels good about what they signed up for. And okay, awesome. Really, it's just if you are able to go at the very least like once a quarter, once a season, like as the season changes, that's when you'll, you would notice, you might notice a really big change. Well, now that it's not like a bazillion degrees outside, yeah. I can actually leave my house. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's not that big of a problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. During this, uh, I just, I can't, I can't do that yeah. 95 degree thing. I, I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> and so I didn't do one for Southmore Park because I That's know okay. that you guys are... It's so under the way anyway. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, um, do yeah, you know okay. when is, they're planning on doing that? <laughs> well, they have their... They have their contract, they have legal is signed off on it, they have their insurance, and we kind of missed our window. <laughs> so when our project comes up and they have time for it, they're going to plug us back in. Okay. So that's okay. It's okay. But it does happen. The um, drainage on the bureau, has that been a problem for our... Ever. Oh, okay. That was before, we're talking about the Longmont mur mural at Kanemoto. Um, I don't know yes. why they chose that spot specifically, and the execution was before my time. Uh, but as I understand, it was never covered in any sort of sealant. So as that buildup happened from the schmut road schmutz, it's just kind of embedded in that mural. And the saddest part is it's not like something we can just get the artist to come back and fix because it was a community project with Front Range Community College with an um, artist-led group. So okay. it's just one. We might go investigate, like taking some, um, we could it come like springtime, take some um, like Dawn dish soap mm -hmm. and just try to take some of it off and make sure that the paint's not lifting. Right. But other than that, like if There's we a, power wash it, it'll, yeah. it'll yeah, be toast. Away. There's Oops. some. Rust from the yeah, railing. That's what it is. Yeah. 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 The streak of 
us yeah. or something. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's just I'm afraid that that's just the nature of which just goes back to when we're doing projects choosing <laughs> responsible locations and doing really good prep mm -hmm. before we put murals down and then sealing them yeah. it's a, it's money up front but it it makes sense in the long run so, yeah. yeah okay any other maintenance questions though thanks for getting out there all right on the move new business a oh okay uh so I got a phone call um, three weeks ago, right after our last meeting, saying, hey, um, they're go the Historical Society got a grant and they're going to be replacing the roof on St. Stephen's. Um, just wanted to let you know, and I know the artwork is kind of close to it. Do you want to throw a sheet on it? A sheet? <laughs> and in my nicest voice, I said, that is unacceptable. Yeah. Those are loans, and they're insured for $53,000, and one of them is a con collections piece. I said, we need to properly take care of them. So Jody Bliss's piece on the north side of the um, plaza, we um, created that in place first. Um, looks good. Jody's not jazzed, but it's better than taking it out. And mm -hmm. she was agreeable to that, so that was good. Yeah. We did that one first because I don't know if you've seen it. They had to take down the trees that were on the north side of St. Stephen's. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no. A big chain link fence all the way around it. Oh, yeah. I did see that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess the roots, of course, were in, invading the foundation of the church, and so it made sense, but it, it was really sad. So I was like, okay, well, let's not cut trees down over the sculpture. So we got that done. Mm -hmm. um, and then Grip, which is your collections piece that's in the middle of the plaza, did that next. Um, and then... At all the while, uh, this is the Historic Society and LDDA and I were negotiating who's paying for That's this. What I was going to ask about that. Yeah. So um, we are splitting it in thirds. So the estimated cost was three thousand dollars, and so we're probably going to have to shell out a thousand bucks. It hasn't come yet, but if we can make a motion to give the some allotment of money to go forward for that. If we don't, the Historic Society is gonna have to pick it up, which is sad. Um, needless to say, I, I, I think that it's fair. I think the LDDA uh, should pick up some of it because they own the land mm -hmm. and they, I don't think that this just suddenly happened. You don't just get a grant overnight. Right, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know that that yeah. kind Well, of, and then yeah. wouldn't, would maybe if we have left it blank this year? We yeah. wouldn't have put, put the artwork the art there. In the Why place? would we have done that? So, knowing that that was going to happen. So the worst part of it is, of course, when I called Revan, who had the large butterfly mm. piece, mm. I told her I priced out how much it was going to cost to get the contractor to build a crate around it. It's 12 feet tall. I, pr I figured out how much it would cost me to do it. And it's too much. And so she and I deinstalled the artwork. I took it back to Denver. And um, she was grumpy. Yeah. She mm -hmm. said that, you know, it was a really nice place for that artwork. And yeah, to have it there for yeah. just a short amount of time mm -hmm. was a real bummer. So I, but she was great. She was understanding. It just, I let our partners know that that's not a good look for us. Exactly. It's a smear on us yeah. with the artists. And then when we put out a call for artists and then other artists talk about, well, I had to decommission mine mm -hmm. yeah. after a short period of time. That's not. Yeah. It was kind of gross. So did you feel like you had a conversation that relayed that information and how dramatic a situation that is to downtown development and to I, the powers that I were involved. I think I said the words, but we haven't paid our bill, <laughs> bill yet. And so I think the conversation's gonna come around again when yeah. okay. somebody's gonna have to somebody's gonna have to pay for it by the you know, before the end of the year. And um, I know because they had to have known and so we would not have then 
used that area, right? The giant one right next to the church? Right. <laughs> right. I mean, so, but she was, she was good. The other thing is we loaded it into our van and we delivered it. So that was nice. That didn't cost us any more because the price of deinstallations built into the loan contract. So basically it was, I could have paid her on the side to deinstall it, put it in storage for five weeks because that's how long it takes to do this roof and then come back out and reinstall it. And the loan itself is just a thousand dollars, but the installation is thousands right. of dollars. Yeah. So anyway, um, at the end of the day, we delivered it back to her and I said that I would ask you if you would grandfather it in for next year. I think that's yeah. just the just best, best thing we could yeah. do. Yeah. I mean, yeah. honestly, yeah. yeah. So, so yeah. yeah. So we need a motion to pay one third of the crating in uh, six years. Uh, if you could give me a hard number, um, up to X number of dollars okay. to one third of the crating up to fifteen hundred. Do you think that's good? Fifteen hundred. In case it goes up. You want a little bit. Yeah. Do you want three K? Yeah. It won't be more than that, but. Just well, isn't that what you told me the whole thing was? The whole well, thing right supposed now. to be. Oh, right. Yeah, so exactly. Pay one third up to three thousand. I mean, you can do whatever you can do whatever you want. <laughs> whatever the difference is, will not land on the LDDA. It will very likely land on the Historic Society. Okay. Just letting you know. Okay. If, or I can bring the cost back to you and tell you exactly what it's going to be, and you can vote at that time, and you can table it now. Completely. I think. I think. Okay. Yeah, you're what the, you're you the commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Your job, not mine. <laughs> I just kind of feel like um, if we have a solid number coming back to us, yeah. that don't we shouldn't, you know, suggest what that number is now okay. and wait and table it for now and then. But does that create a bad timeline for? you financially or nope. something nope okay. nope you have it in your budget this is, i, I yeah. will i'm gonna earmark and allocate dollars to be able to cover it as we go mm -hmm. into the end of the year no matter no matter what i had to move fast mm -hmm. i had to I, say I yes we're yeah. going to right. and i came out yeah. and wrapped them in blankets and covered them all up in all of the bits and pieces mm -hmm. um it's our it's our responsibility to take care of the artwork the right Absolutely. way Absolutely, yeah. that's so our big um, okay so yeah no I'm I'm perfectly fine with tabling it and finding out what the hard cost is and then splitting it in thirds that way yeah that's okay a so very we, logical we way of doing it agree? Yeah. yeah I agree okay table table perfect until numbers are available and uh, yeah and please be please be oh and the grandfathering um, but also yeah be real open not only with me, but as we look at this process of, of lending and borrowing artwork, as you think about this you know, going forward and placement, you know, all of those kinds of things. Because the other thing, of course, we know that the Kaufman Street project is happening, right. but High Plains Bank on 4th Street, mm -hmm. they're having to fix concrete as well for their accessibility entrance from the north side. And so Lara and I have to go as soon as they find out when that concrete pour is happening, which is probably on a Monday, so we'll have to work on Sunday to cover those pieces and wrap them up too. The expense, the, the materials cost isn't a lot, but the staff cost is, I think the staff cost mm -hmm. is high. So mm -hmm. yet again, like, would we have placed that Something ceramic knowing. piece right outside? Yeah. Yeah. The answer is no, right? Right, right. So anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, communication. So do, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. So do you think the right hand doesn't know what the left hand's yeah. doing, and they're yeah. just not, they're not even, even thinking considering it's not even way there. Well, yeah. and the Kaufman project, I mean, it's it, the date has changed, you know, so many times. But those guys are my city partners. That's those folks. Uh, they are very communicative. Mm -hmm. It's uh, downtown. You know, downtown's mm -hmm. kind of its own. Yeah. It's kind of its own thing. Okay. Um, okay. You know, so we just need to work better communicating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. Are we done with that? Gosh, I feel so. What about mm -hmm. uh, the 
Yeah. I, Reinstating I, the part of the grandfather. Yeah, I moved that we grandfathered that grand piece um, for next year. My second. Do we need a motion for that? Yeah. Okay. So that was. Even Sage. Sage. Oops. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, could we amend it? Please to make sure that we state that we are repaying for another year's worth of loan, of course. Yes. Right? Yes. It's grandfathering into the process and then it's one more year's worth, right? Uh mm huh. -hmm. Yeah. We amend that to that, please. Grandfathering. Or essentially pre approving. Pre approving is the better word, yeah. Well, what are we pre approving? The selection to participate in the They're loan. Already in. That it will already be there as part of the selection. Well, you write that down. Yep, I'm working on it. <laughs> and did we, I'm sorry, can we have the hands again for I? It was all on. And I do have one question. So was Revan okay with doing that, letting it come back and letting it be here for another year? She was. She said that she needed to know, though, before the fall because that's when all of the applications for okay, the circuit that, opened. That was my concern that she hadn't already um, proposed it yeah. for something yeah. else, and that okay. No, I told okay. her I was coming to this meeting. Okay. That was on the. It was. Jennifer, I need to know if you are voting aye. Can she hear me? Can yeah. you hear me? Voting aye no. on. Read it. Uh, to pre-approve Revan Swanson's butterfly as a 2025 loan art on the move. Yes. Did you vote already? Yes, I'm that's sorry. right. Take okay. a quick dinner break. Yeah, okay. That's fine. <laughs> awesome. Um, yes, I do vote for that. Thank you. No. <laughs> but we should do it. <laughs> I hadn't been looking at the screen. Oh, they're really rocking and rolling, aren't they? It's a, it's a, they're great. I went and listened to them for a minute and they were. Okay. Doing a sound check. All right. Then Walktober and walking tours. Walktober. I was contacted by the wellness um, group here at the city to ask if we had any walking tours that we would like to lead for uh, Longmont's Walktober staff get out and move agenda. And I said, yeah, I think we could do that. So Laura and I went and walked around town and found a 1500 step and a 2000 step like downtown tour and kind of walkabout. And so each of the tours, the walking time is only like 10 minutes and like 20 minutes. But I figured about five minutes per stop, um, we could do this. So I'm gonna do it for our staff on the 9th and the 30th of, of Walktober. Walktober of October. Um, <laughs> But I did get to thinking, you know, if you'd like to join me and if this is something that we would like to potentially have as an option for people to contact us and do, um, downtown's really easy. Once you start getting further out and even along St. Brain Greenway, it gets a little tricky as well, of course. But um, so anyway, I wanted to let you know that those were the dates that I'm doing the staff ones and we're gonna get our steps in. What dates are those? The ninth of October, which is a Wednesday, and the 30th, which I'm thinking Thursday? is also, a, yeah, I think it's a Thursday, right? Mm -hmm. And it's 11.30 to 12.30, and I will send all of this to you, of course. Okay. So well, I, I have to work the election, so. Oh, thank you very much for your service. Mm -hmm. You know, I do it every, yeah, I hope I make it out alive. They're both Wednesdays, actually. It's getting scary. <laughs> well, we had three trainings on what to do if a shooter comes Oh, my God. God. I mean, it was it's like, whoa, you guys are really into this now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. It is that day. Yeah. In the age I'm it, is so, it is that day. Huh? It is that day. It is yes, it is that day. I know. But, you know, this is the first year that's happened. Right. I mean, yeah. we have, like, videos, and then we go in and have to do it in person all day. Yeah. But, um, mm -hmm. wow. I just went, that's a lot. That is a lot. Mm -hmm. That is a lot. Mm -hmm. 
So October, I will send you the dates and the times. And if you're able to join me, fantastic. And hopefully people sign up. But the risk management department told me they're absolutely, because I'm always having to call them, you know. And they're like, we're, com we're coming for sure. <laughs> so good. So if you want to meet them. <laughs> cool. Cool. All right, and then C, Hotel Longmont Parking Garage. So um, budget big bad meeting was Tuesday. Susie, thank you very much for your time on that one. Um, so LDDA contacted me actually just today to clarify um, what has been said previously and the direction forward. Uh, the executive team looks at their workflow in their meeting on October 1st. So that will be, the budget will be of course completed by then and approved by then and then we look at the projects and the workflow. Um, I just wanted to revisit y'all's understanding and I should have pulled up what the motion had said, but as previously discussed, the hotel of course is going in and then the garage is being constructed as well. The garage will be owned by the city and LDDA contacted us to because of course it's a city owned building so any public art project with a city owned building has to go through our process. So LDDA has committed up to $150,000 not to exceed for a holistic project of that which is the priming of the building, the painting of the building, all expenses and also the sealant. So I just wanted to make sure That's that everybody... That's the priming of the garage? Where the, where the mural would be. Okay. So that project, there's no MOU between the LDDA and Art and Public Places at this time, but a motion was made at the end of the last year, and Jim Golden talked about yeah. how it had to happen. Mm -hmm. but, um, but so that project does have to go through Art and Public Places, and then in the your meeting right after that, you approved to work with them. Yes. So I just wanted to make sure that everybody knows that that is in fact on the 2025 workflow to make mm -hmm. sure that we're aligned with their opening of that garage. Okay. It will likely be, you know, be one of the big priorities. And I can pull that motion language from both meetings if anybody has any questions. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just want to let you know. So. When you open up the newspaper, it's all <laughs> very clear. I just, I, you know, so they will tell us at some point how big the space is. Yes. So I have side received of the building it's on. Yes. So I have received preliminary elevations. When the time comes, we will go through our process, which is convene a task force. We will arrive at what the project is exactly, square footage, which side's the building, who's responsible for what. Is the developer painting it? Is it okay that that will be sufficient priming? All of those details, and then we'll get down to the how we're going forward with the one hundred fifty thousand dollars not to exceed. Yeah. Some of that we're money not, is ours. It, it, it is so, not. It is not. So just reflecting back on yeah. like when this spoke yes. was, and we were going to be a part of those screens, and then that fell apart and the developer said i'm going to do the screens mm -hmm. so <laughs> angela and angela learned all kinds of lessons, uh, lessons. <laughs> well we all did learned all kinds of lessons yeah. so including so the including those let you know sure. what we learned before from yes. that kind of endeavor yes do you feel like that wouldn't happen this or is that just an unknown and you're just gonna have to go with it so a little bit of both but actually more the latter the building is the city's oh okay Any, okay even though the developer is building the building mm -hmm. is constructing the building mm -hmm. the building will the garage belongs to the city and any public art project on a city building has to by law go through go us. through us okay so okay so it's so a little it is a little bit different than it is. What this there was. will not okay. be any easement agreement okay. because it's not necessary mm -hmm. okay. and uh it wasn't like the private public partnership with boulder county housing right. authority right. and their financiers yeah. okay. and then their architects who had dreams and wishes about right. screens right, right. Uh, though 
in the future, should a public-private partnership come to the table to work with art in public places, which they should, mm -hmm. and I imagine that they probably will, at that point in time, legal has told me that we will go through a letter of intent in the development per in the development process, and before their site plan approval happens, it will either be that they have to work with art in public places on their screens, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, and okay. and that will be the exemption, or they will have to get a site plan mm -hmm. amendment. And these are all developer speak, but needless to say, right. there is a very clear path into so the that screens of the of future. Intent would um, really mean a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it okay. has dates and times. Like okay. this is good for one year, and then after one year, you have the opportunity to, you know, uh, renew it for okay. X number of years, depending on how your development's happening and money and things and all, okay. all those lines. But it's a contract. Okay. And so that's the difference. Okay. In this instance, when we're working with ourselves, if you will, LDDA is the city, we are the city, an MOU or some sort of memorandum of understanding, some sort of this is the way this project is going forward, past the motions that have already been carried out, will probably need to be put into play. Okay. So has the art already been decided? Nope. Or no, this no, is just, no, it's just all no. super, super preliminary. Yeah. Yep. This is the how we're going to get to that right. project. But since the city has this building and the LDDA has committed funds, we are committing to go through that. Yeah. And, and stay with their timeline because they, of course, would like the art on the building when the building opens and the wall law yeah. happens. Yeah. Um, so that puts our feet to the fire a little bit. Yeah. But luckily, mural the... projects are pretty. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're faster. Okay. What is the timing on that? Don't know. Gonna, I have a meeting at 8.30 tomorrow morning. Oh. They're, uh, they're building it. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's going to open it in 2025. Oh, okay. Sometime. Sometime. <laughs> I'm sure it's the name is out there in the world somewhere. Where is it? It's right there it's on 3rd the and, and, and uh, Kim, oh, behind Kim Kimber. Kimber. Oh, in the okay. parking okay. lot. The, the, the good the parking lot downtown. <laughs> That's what everybody says. The good parking lot is being taken away. It's being made into this. Okay. <laughs> so annoying. Uh oh, I hope I didn't lose our friends. Are you there? Oh. Uh, 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 well, we uh, all we have left is commissioner comments. Oh, Nettie. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. Who has com? Uh, did, did, we, uh, did I answer all of the questions related to that? Yeah. Yeah. Does anybody mm -hmm. have any questions related to that? Okay. How's the how's the um. The archway. I can't remember the name right now. You know what I mean. Right there in that parking lot. Oh, Los Arcos? Yes, Los Arcos. Uh, oh, they have a fence and construction fence like six right. inches away from it. Mm -hmm. They've actually kept done pretty good, but it kept getting tagged and stickered. Mm -hmm. And so I've cleaned it up like mm -hmm. a lot. Laura and I have been cleaning up a lot of graffiti. Mm. I was over there the other day. I checked all six of them last week. Yeah, and, did you? Um, Looking better. One is, yeah, that one looked great. Yeah. One is tagged. Yeah. And I sent mm. you guys a thing. Yeah. And then I wasn't sure about stickers. It, I could tell it, it looked like you had actually yeah. been removing them. So yeah. I should tell you when there's one. Yeah, I have a, I ha depending on what kind of sticker they are, I have two different kinds of um, uh, removing processes that I can to kind of lift the heat the adhesive without lifting the paint. Mm -hmm. um, but those things are powder coated, which is bad news because if when the paint goes, then it opens up an opportunity for rust. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so we try really hard to, I mean, not lift the paint off of those because then of course, as you know, powder coating is something that you have to remove the object and take it to a powder coater. Mm -hmm. and it's, yeah. it's expensive and it's not gonna happen. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to basically be on rust abatement and try to prevent rust. So that's what we're doing. Basically, is we're, we're preventing rust at this okay. point in time. Yes, but anytime you see a sticker, anytime you see graffiti, you can either send it to me or the graffiti line, um, the city graffiti line. Okay. And if it's art, he contacts me. Okay. Right. Yep. All right, then. Commissioner comments. Anybody have any comments? Oh. <sighs> Good job, Angela. I know. I'm sorry today was kind of a bananas, but it's yes. kind of how that is. Oh, um, not a commissioner comment, but start thinking about the holidays. I was thinking about 
I was thinking about the holidays at, at the soiree. Maria. Yeah. Because yeah, our meeting will be on the 19th. Mm. Oh, right. So mm -hmm. we either cancel that one and meet socially in the new year or in December or whatever, but not a lot gets done in December. I can tell you that right now. Yeah. All right. I need a motion to adjourn. My motion to adjourn this meeting today. <laughs> second. Yeah. Anyone? I'll second. Thank you.